Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week in Burbese Region 6, where he held several community outreaches to address the concerns of residents. In one of his addresses, President Ali revealed government's intention to finalize an oil refinery in Region 6 by the end of the year. The refinery will be able to accommodate 30,000 barrels of oil per day. As we come closer to realizing the opportunity with a energy project here in Region 6, we're working on the 30,000 barrel refinery, the proposals that came in, because we are hoping that before the end of this year, we must finalize the refinery project to be done right here in Region 6 that would add and create even more opportunities for Region 6. President Ali underscored that the proposed refinery will reshape the region's economic prospect generating abundant opportunities for its residents. Those who cannot understand the changes that is taking place across our country and here in Region 6, something is wrong with them. Several bids have been submitted for the design, financing and construction of an oil refinery at the mouth of the Burpees River. His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali underscored that Canada CARICOM's sole concern is not just for the development of the region and Canada, but for better conditions for all of humanity. Dr. Ali emphasized that one of the greatest attributes of Canada and the Caribbean community CARICOM is that they consistently advocate for justice based on values. The head of state made the remarks of the Canada CARICOM summit reception in Ottawa on Wednesday evening. Our concern is about the removal of hate. Our concern is to end war with peace all across the world. And we can only do so with action. If all of us stay silent, then we are just as equally guilty in the world of injustice. And one of the great attributes of Canada and our region is our continuous voice on the side of justice based on principles and values. President Ali and the Prime Minister of Canada, the retired Honourable Justin Trudeau, held bilateral discussions on the sidelines of the Canada CARICOM Summit in Ottawa on Thursday. During the meeting, President Ali highlighted Guyana's economic growth its Low Carbon Development Strategy, LCDS 2030, and its mission to become a global leader in food, energy, and climate security. Canada and Guyana have enjoyed close diplomatic ties for 57 years, having established diplomatic relations in 1966. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the Agri-Investment Forum and Expo at the Arthur Chong Conference Centre, Dr. Ali announced several major projects to propel the sector. A U.S. $4.5 million Agriculture and Innovation Entrepreneurship Program AIEP, was launched for hydroponics farming in Regions 2, 5, and 10, which will benefit over 300 young people. This massive undertaking is being funded by ExxonMobil Guyana, the Greater Guyana Initiative, HES Cooperation, and CNUC. President Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali highlighted that this state-of-the-art, highly profitable and innovative project is a true demonstration of unlocking opportunities for youths. We'll be linking this, the output of this project directly to the markets. As Tisha would have said to you, this project enables our young people to develop their skills in marketing, in packaging, in promotion, Knowing that they're not, they not just growing crop, but they're part of the ownership. They're part of the profits. And they're part of the success story of this, these facilities. President Ali said that plans are in the pipeline to expand a number of Guyana's missions abroad to advance the country's global standing. During a meeting with heads and officers in charge of diplomatic missions, he charged them to ensure that activities and physical spaces reflect and are aligned with the priorities of the country. 
He listed the promotion of the country's tourism potential and investment opportunities as examples. The aim, he noted, is to amplify Guyana in a standardized and harmonious manner. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching. We join us again next time.